Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to the Stock Swoosh Show Play of the Day. This is the final review here of Target. Ended up playing out beautifully. So, so, so happy that I had the conviction to redo this trade. Uh, let's just take a look at it. I did a video on this earlier, and just to go back and review, got stopped out on this in the morning. Retook in the afternoon, and it played on out, and it did what it was supposed to do. I was very, very happy. So here's what happened in the morning. The morning it set up, broke, was up almost 50 cents in this. Again, didn't take anything out of it. I, I really just um, do this when I just don't feel like it doesn't go enough. But there are places where you look at for targets and there are reversal signs. I did not have 58 down as a target for this today. Uh, not in the morning anyways. And certainly not from where it opened. That would have been ridiculous, okay? But the fact is you're up almost 50 cents in here and you could have gotten out of something to protect yourself. I held it through. Held it through, came back, retested, got stopped out here. So I took a loss in the first trade in this. But I liked the gap. And, and, and I just, you know, I, I was like, I had so much conviction in this to go today and so much conviction in this to work today. I, I went back and analyzed everything that I looked at and reviewed and rated this. And, you know, after I closed out the live trading room, I said, why did I like that? I went back and looked and I said, no, I know this is good. The rally back, though, was aggressive. The rally back over the high really was aggressive. It held 59.50, but that was just jimungus of a rally. And, you know, to redo this, it was a gutsy thing to do, particularly where I put the stop. But... I just really like the gap. And then I saw where it came up here. This is where it rallied into this is resistance here. And, and I just thought, gosh, this just is not going to go over this number. And at this point, I wasn't really sure exactly where the market was headed when I decided to take this um, in the afternoon here on the 15 minute. I really wasn't sure exactly that the market would fall all day. Now, as it turns out, the market did fall in the afternoon. And it did help pull this down past the low of the day, past the target. Uh, but this ended up being great. If you were really, really aggressive, you could have done this in here. I wanted to wait for some kind of confirmation. Okay. And as it turns out, it did give a confirmation. And here is the confirmation. Beautiful. Stock just fell on over. I mean, there really was no looking back. It was a nice move down here. Broke through the low. Even broke through the low by 20 cents. So really nice risk to reward in this afternoon trade in Target. It's very rare, again, that a trade would set up in the afternoon and have good risk to reward. But the stock moved a dollar plus in the afternoon. And the market did help this go. The market did help this go in the afternoon. And, and it's one of these things. But the gap itself, the bias, the bias on the gap was bearish and it rated well. And so I had conviction in it. And I just, you know, the morning trade actually was profitable in there if I had taken some off, if I had taken half off in here. But I just didn't take anything off in that first bar that dropped down there, that big red bar that dropped almost 50 cents. So I wanted to let the trade play out. But do you see here why you let trades play out? So let's go back. If you had taken this target once in the morning or twice in the morning, however many times you took it, if it was once or twice, full size or half size, and took stops in two trades in the morning in this, even if you did two full sizes, you made that money back plus or positive your goal for the day in the afternoon move. So I think it's extremely important to understand what a stock is doing when it's actually going to work or going to fail. There's times when I see something that fails, fails right immediately into the open or fails in the first five minutes of the day or fails in the morning, okay? And I say, that's it. You got to get off of it. Don't redo it. Don't do it in the 15 minute. Don't do it on the five. Don't, don't do it at all, period. I didn't feel like this about this at all today. And I, and again, the, the rally was big. I mean, from the low down here at 58, the rally up here was $1.40. But I just didn't feel like this was doing anything wrong as far as an ultimate failure of the gap itself. And, and I even said, gosh, you know, it depends where this where this closes. This could fall through tomorrow if it doesn't today. It did have the fall through today. So I'm not exactly sure what this does tomorrow. I'd have to see where it opens or gaps. But I will say, though, that I never let off of it. Like sometimes I see ones and I say, well, that's a failure. I didn't feel that way about this today. And obviously my read on this was correct. Again, the market helped it. But I think the market only helped this pull this down to a, a bigger number here into itself into the uh, afternoon. I still, this would have still fallen. Whether or not, I don't know if I think it would have necessarily broken the low of the day without the market. But as it turns out, it had the market and it did. And it really kept on going. And here again, boom. You just get the nice momentum and the nice drop. And look at all the nice red bars in here. 
So this actually closed with a red body. You can't see this here, but it actually closed at 5803. Here it is about here. Okay, so it had a nice red body then with a big topping tail and a bottoming tail. Topping tail was larger than the bottoming tail and the body was red. A uh, nice bearish bar in this target. So I'm really proud of myself for taking this late trade in this because I really uh, don't do this that often. And it was a great gap and I knew it and I, and I knew that it wasn't doing anything that was a failure, even with the rally back. Again, you know, there was nothing to go back after it uh, to follow it through unless it had set up on the 15 minute, but it did. Okay, it did. So nice move here in the target. Really, really nice momentum move more than a dollar in the afternoon, and that is extremely rare, but that's what I wanted to see. Uh, got this really good today. Very happy, uh, despite the failure in the morning for it to follow through or me to get out of any of the profits in the first move. I took the stop and still ended up making money this today. Very, very happy. But this goes back to the same thing I was saying in the room. Sizing is important. If you oversized yourself in the morning trade in this today and had a wonderful dollar move in this in the afternoon, then you may not have had as positive a day as far as the number of R's. But if you size yourself correctly or close to it, you take one trade that doesn't work, you take one trade that does work, you have a positive day. Or if you even take two trades sometimes that don't work and one positive trade that works like this, you, you have a day, you even have a positive day. And obviously if you take two trades that work positive, you're, you know, you're set. And since all three of the gaps worked today, I think it was a plethora of things to do. And most of them did play out in the morning. Now, Target did not play out this morning. The other two alike did play out in the morning. Uh, and the afternoon just gave more then because with the market falling, these things followed through. Someone was asking me, what, it, what happens? What are you going to do if the market falls? I'd just be looking for bigger targets. I'd be looking for larger targets and then in the shorts that I would trade. But that's not happening now. Anyways, the market is going to hold and I'll do a video on that here shortly. Anyways, great trade here in the target today in the afternoon. Conviction pays. 100% conviction and it's the only way to trade. And it's really, really something that you've got to learn and understand. And I kept double, triple checking myself, going back and looking at this. Did I see something? What did I see? Did I see everything right? And again, it kept me on it because I knew that I read the gap correctly in this. And I did. And it was a short. It was a good short too. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Have a great day night. If you are interested in the Golden Gap class, it is this weekend, August 9th and 10th. is a special bonus day on Monday the 11th. Live trading and Golden Gap rating. In fact, we'll go, let's go over the target. We'll go over the target. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go over the target on Monday too. Have a great day, everybody. Email me if you want to sign up for the class, melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everyone. Have a great night.